Hi everyone, it's Darlene. Welcome back for another card video. Today I have three cards that I created with the Doggy Kisses set by Art Impressions. They're pretty much the same layout. They just have different colors. I color the dogs differently and put a different background on it. So here is the stamp set that I used. I've used it before for a pullout card with a bandaged dog there in the middle. Uh, so here I'm using the dog with the cone. I'm gonna stamp him with some Memento Tuxedo Black ink on Nina Solar White cardstock. And now I'm gonna color the dog. This one I'm doing uh, kind of a black dog with a white belly and white paws. So I'm starting with the C9 and I'm flicking upward. And so I'm doing the back of the dog. And then my second color is C6 and I'm starting about halfway up the C9 and extending it out a little bit. And then finally I'm gonna end with the C4. I'm gonna leave some area white at the bottom and that'll just be his white belly. Now I realized I needed some dark area on the front of his paws, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring that C9 all the way down the leg so it looks like it kind of extends down there. So I'm kind of coloring over what I did before. And then uh, going in with the C6 and then finally the C4 and leaving the back of the legs kind of white. And then that leg behind is gonna get a little bit of C6. And then his leg is gonna kinda of start over with the C9. And I'm just making shorter strokes and move in with the C6 and then the C4. The tail is a pretty small area, so I'm just gonna use the two darker colors. So I'm gonna use a little bit of C9 and then C6, and then again at the top with the C9 and then the C6. I'm gonna do the exact same thing with the head, but I'm gonna color the ears all C9. And then I'm gonna start with the top of the head and use the same sequence. So the C9 all the way at the top, and then move in with the, three, uh, the C6. I'm going around his eye, leaving a little bit of white around it, and then the bottom of his uh, mouth will be just white. So the second step, I wanted it to be really, really dark um, at the very top. So I'm gonna take a 110, it's just a dark black color at the top of the dog, and uh, flick down, or flick upward, I'm sorry. And notice that I went over the line, and that's fine because I'm gonna be cutting it out. And I realized after the 110 that I needed a little bit more blending, so I just touched it up a little bit with the C6. And then for the bandage, I just wanted a little bit of shadow, and when I need that, I just take a C1 and do the edges just a little bit. For the cone, I'm using my three favorite yellow colors. And I'm coloring it the same way with the flicking, and I'm just gonna do 17, 15, and then when I do the 11, I'm gonna do it from the opposite side. And that way my blending will, my flicks will kind of run together. I'm gonna cut this guy out with a scissor, and now I'm gonna work on the background. I'm gonna use my Distress Watercolor cardstock. It just comes in A2 size. And I'm using the textured side, and I'm just figuring out, I'm putting a top and bottom, right and left, with my uh, dog and my sentiment position so I know how much I need to watercolor. I'm using the largest uh, brush in my Artist Brushes set by Ranger. And what I'm gonna do is first wet the cardstock with water right within the penciled area that I marked. And that will allow me to easily add this color without it drying too quickly. Uh, and that way it just kind of blends together much more easily than if I were to apply it to dry cardstock. This is geranium pink, it's a peerless watercolor and I just pulled it from my palette. And I'm just adding water where I need to and I'm making it kind of a jagged edge so it looks just like a really nice watercolor. Each card that I did came out a little bit different. The green one was a little messier, uh, the blue one was a little bit smaller, so you know that's just what happens with watercolor. All right, so I'm just gonna extend it out here and I just kept pushing it out a little bit more so this, that's why this one came out a little bit larger than the others. But you can see it gives me a really nice uh, wash of color. I saw there was a little bit of a dark spot right there so I just kinda tapped it with my brush. Now I'm gonna let that dry completely and this one I'm gonna add some splatters. It's the only one that has splatters. I just wanted to see how it would look. So I'm gonna use a, a smaller brush. I'm gonna experiment a little bit with the amount of water I tried to get the water off the barrel of my brush with my finger, but it was just too much, so I used a tissue. And you definitely wanna do that or you'll get water spots. I didn't wanna get any water spots. I'm gonna grab a little bit more water off my palette, and you can see how dark these splatters are as compared to the background wash. I'm gonna trim this panel an eighth of an inch from two sides so that I'll have a sixteenth of an inch mat. And now I'm gonna stamp my sentiment with some VersaFine Black Onyx ink in my Misty. 
And then to adhere my dog, I'm gonna use the two-way glue pen because I wanna make sure I get all over the whole thing. I don't want it lifting up on this textured cardstock. So to make sure it was secure, I just put an acrylic block on it and left it for a few minutes to make sure it was really sticking there. All right, with this, I'm gonna add some Scotch foam tape and notice that I'm pressing down the cardstock, sort of unwarping it manually before I put the tape on and the tape will straighten out my cardstock. And I just discovered this tip and it is so helpful for straightening out any kind of watercolor panel that you have before you adhere it to a card base. So I'm gonna peel off my backing and adhere it to a Hero Arts black note card. I wanted to ground him and so I'm using the C6. I'm doing this pretty quickly, but I think I did a little bit too much. And then I decided to make it more solid and then add some dots, some little dots and some big dots. And I really like the way that turned out. So here is the completed pink card. And uh, it wasn't worked at all because of the technique I used with the Scotch foam. This one is a blue background. I'll have the colors listed on my blog post that I used, but I used the same Ranger watercolor paper, but I used an ATG tape runner on the back before I put it on the Hero Arts note card, and it was very warped, actually. The card base took the form of my watercolor paper. The third one is green, and I use the Canson XL mixed media paper, and you can see how bubbly the Canson paper is, but the card base is perfectly straight, and uh, so, so the Canson took the form of the base, but it was very wavy just in and of itself. So anyway, I think the Scotch foam with the watercolor paper, or, or the Ranger watercolor paper worked the best. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.